Coming up, we're going to break down the key differences in selling your app on Flippa versus Blue Throne. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads, and more importantly, those revenues. And once you've grown the revenues to a certain level, you might think about selling the, your app. And I've sold a few different apps on Flippa, and I'll break down that process. But we want to compare that with potentially selling it on a different service or Blue Throne which is a partner of ours that we've been working very closely with, and they're interested in buying apps as well. So we're going to break down that entire process. And joining me today to represent the Blue Throne side of things and his experience to selling to Blue Throne is Pietro Messineo. <laughs> I've screwed that up, Pietro. Hi, Steve. But, That's fine. That's welcome. completely fine. Pietro, you want to talk a little bit about your experience in selling to Blue Throne? And maybe, I don't know if you're willing to share some of the app details as well, but you know, why did you decide to sell your app? So basically, in 2020, I created an application that was for widgets. So it was, it's like uh, unique in its, of its kind because with iOS 14, widgets just came up. So I thought like, wow, I have like Greenfield and I can create an application for widgets. Yeah. So I just published it and, you know, it just got viral. 100,000 downloads in two months and just Blue Throne just sent me an email. Like randomly, I received an email. Hey, how are you doing? We are interested in buying your app. Is it still available? And I was like, why someone is buying apps? Like it was completely new to me, you know. I just knew that you could monetize it with advertisements or with some subscriptions or whatever. I never thought that I could sell my app actually. So... I was interested and I was just replying to the emails and we got some exchange of emails. I was giving them some uh, analytics about the app itself and all of the things that they were requiring. And then we end up with a, you know, a good deal that was worth it for both of us. And in two weeks I did my exit. So I wow. sold my app to them. Yeah. If you're willing to share, did you do anything with the exit money? Did you treat yourself? Did you... Go out and celebrate. How did you celebrate? Well, the thing is that I'm a really uh, car lover. So I, I went and I bought uh, an American car. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> With the exit money. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I spent my money, basically. Well, congratulations, Pietro. Did you have revenues in your app before you sold it? Yes, of course. There were revenues. And uh, basically, they offered me a 12 per. A revenue multiplier. So they basically gave me one year of revenue based on the last or the two months which the app was alive. Because Blue Throne usually buys applications that are at least one year old. But they saw some potentials and they bought my app even if it was only three months old. Because my app has been released in the end of October and they have been contacted in December and we closed the deal then in January, 2021. So now let's really go in and break down the key differences between selling it on a marketplace like Flippa or going, or if you have an email from Blue Throne, potentially selling to these guys or even other brokers that you might be interested in selling it on. So, so here it is, who to sell your app to? Should you list it on Flippa or should you potentially respond to a Blue Throne email representing both sides? Cause I've had experience selling on Flippa and then Pietro, he sold his app on Blue Throne. We'll talk about both of our experiences and some of the key differences between the two. First and first, foremost, Pietro, who buys the app, right? So on Flippa, it's really a platform. You list your app, super easy to do, and then it connects you with buyers, with sellers. So essentially, it's like any of these like eBay marketplaces where you're listing your app and you're, you have to list some revenues. You can connect to your App Store Connect so that they can see what those revenues are. but you list it for a price that you think it's worth. And then hopefully sellers agree with you and they look at your details and then they agree to buy it. Whereas Blue Throne, you want to talk a little bit about Blue Throne? Yes, of course. As you said, Flippa offers like the possibility to connect sellers and buyers, but it's like a marketplace. So you are not sure when and if you're going to sell your app. But in Blue Throne, it's basically the company buys the app to you. So um, if they are interested in buying the app, you have like already your money in two weeks. So you can send them an email or you can just, you know, get an email from them if your app is going to be kind of interesting for them. And the one of the most important thing is that before to contact them, you can uh, try to evaluate your 
application in terms of money, you know, like an evaluation. So there is an evaluation tool. You can put uh, the revenue of the year or at least the last month, the link to your app, and then it, it's giving you automatically a sort of range in which you can sell your app for. And Pietro, have you ever listed on Flippo? I actually did. I tried once. I got two or three offers, really poor offers. And uh, so basically, I just gave up. Because as you know, on Flippo, you have to put some money in advance for list your app. But you don't have to do this on Blue Throne, for example. You just send an email. If they are interested, they will tell you, yeah, we are interested. If not, they will just tell you, hey, sorry, we are not interested in your deal. You, have, you don't have to spend any money for it. Next, how safe is it to sell? So let's break down some of this. Flippa, obviously there are, it's a marketplace, so it's not 100% safe. You might get some people, I've never experienced this personally, but you might get people who are just like poking around, maybe not that interested. What I have noticed is there's a lot of back and forth. And so it's really hard to weed out the serious sellers from the people who are just trying to get more information. So it's a lot more work, really. Whereas Blue Throne, you're just working with one person, right? A team of people. It's one person in terms of one entity. Where on Flippa, you might be working with multiple entities, multiple people, multiple buyers. And you just have to, like I've sold websites on there. I've sold a couple of different apps on there. You just have to talk to a, a lot of different people and answer their questions. Yes, actually, uh, when I was listing my app on Flippa, I got one or two emails from some from some people that they were asking me, hey, could we have a little sneak peek of your code? And I was like, oh, no, wow. you're not going to have my code, you know, before to purchase it. And they were like, so we're not interested in buying it. And I was like, okay, so I will just keep it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so easy differently. Enough, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's really easy. <laughs> and in Blue, in Blue Throne, it's much way easier. You uh, share the analytics with them. You do all of those kind of mm, numbers, thingies. And then once that you kind of have a deal with them, you will just share the code. But only in the end, when you got your money, it's like a, yeah. um, it's a face-to-face -face exchange. You know, it's completely safe. And generally how we've done it now, we're, we're actually in the middle of buying an app, but it's like, we agree on price. We look at the revenues, they give us access to it. And then once we agree on price, then we do the due diligence, right? We got, we have this period where we can then look at the code. We have this grace period. Sometimes we can put a deposit down that like, Hey, even if we look at the code and you know, we don't like it, you get this money regardless, right? The deposit, but there are ways to work around it. Whereas Flippa, it's sort of like. You know, it's an open marketplace. They're a marketplace. So it might be easier for you to get smaller offers, but in the end, it might be harder for you as well. Let's take a look at the exact process that you have to go through on each different platform. So on Flippa, like we said, you list your app and then you hope buyers and sellers or buyers come, right? They are a pretty big marketplace. So I think, I personally feel like if you're trying to sell websites, it's probably more appropriate then than it would be on apps. But Consider it because I have sold a couple of different apps on there as well. And on Blue Throne, you have a free app valuation tool. So you can, and Pietro, you two, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can just go on there and then without really contacting anybody from Blue Throne, put in some of those numbers and then get some valuation out of it. Yes, I was actually saying it before. You just have to open the page, fill the App Store link of your app, then put the revenue, uh, of your last month revenue basically, and then it's automatically generating, uh, you know, a sort of range in which you can sell your app. So it's really fast. You're not spending more than three to five minutes because, yeah, you have to log into App Store Connect and take all of these things. But if you have everything prepared before, because you're watching this video, most likely you will just spend two minutes for have your evaluation of your app. Is that data safe? Like, are we, is it going somewhere where, how safe is that data that we're providing to Blue Throne? Well, you know, um, all of these data that Blue Throne is gathering before in order to create a sort of evaluation are just gathered from public information. So there are several services that offer the possibility to check a rough estimation of what were, which were the revenues for the previous month and, and some downloads and all of those things. But uh, those data that are entered are just coming to Blue Throne and they will just remain there. And anyway... What are we going to do with the link of the app and the revenue of the last month? Basically nothing. Okay. okay. Next, next, I want to take a look at the selling process, what it was like. 
And so we kind of covered this a little bit, Pietro, in earlier talks. But what I want to share is, again, when you're selling off Lipa, you're going to have to deal with multiple people asking multiple questions, and you have no idea whether they're serious or not. And some I did actually experience, now that I think about it, some scammers because they weren't super serious. And when I sold my website on there, I was like, this guy seemed like the most serious person, like whatever, you know what I mean? Like I just wanted to get rid of it. So it's like, okay, this seems like a good enough offer and I'm going to accept it and then we'll be done with it. What was your process like on Blue Throne? Well, on Blue Throne was quite smooth in my opinion. I just yeah. received the email. I was like a bit unsure if the email was like real or not because, you know, you just receive an email and might be true, might be not. But, you know, I was like, anyway, if I'm going to reply, what can change? I mean, I'm not going to lose anything. And I said, let's let's see how it's gonna be. So I was just replying, and everything was gonna was going smooth. They asked me, as we said, like some analytics, and then uh, we had the first call, and they asked me if. So I saw some people, and I was like, okay, so things looks real, and everything looks fine. Then they asked me to uh, just sh connect them their account to my App Store account only for the marketing purposes. So. I didn't give uh, them any admin access or whatever, just, you know, marketing in order to get access to the reports of downloads, of revenue, sales, you know, all of those things. And, uh, and then they get back to me after a week. So basically two weeks in total with a proposal, with an offer. Mm -hmm. And we done a deal on, about this offer and that's it. The exit was done. After one or two days, I received my money. Of course, we signed a contract, an agreement, um, because they of course want to know that your application is gonna is not gonna break some things they want to know how is it implemented if you're using scraping for example for some mm. things if you use apis which apis you are using how many money you're spending per month in maintenance you know there are several things that uh, they have to consider because of course before buying the app if you're adding i don't know like two three thousand dollars but you're spending two or three thousand dollars for APIs or maintenance in general, servers and so on, then it's not going to be that much profitable for them. So they are interested to see the, the full picture about the app. Did you negotiate at all? Like, well, whatever they offer, did you come back and counter with a different offer? Well, I'm Italian, so we are used to negotiate about everything. <laughs> so yes, I did it and we found a deal. So yeah, we closed the deal anyway. Next, I want to cover the focus. So on Flippa, Obviously, I talk about this. I've sold apps. I've sold websites. There's e-commerce stores. You can pretty much sell a lot of different things on Flippa. But if you're just talking about, and you know, our audience is all about apps, you're just talking about apps. Bluestone, they just acquire apps. That's all they do. Well, the thing is that uh, we are specialized in apps. Most, uh, uh, I mean, most of the apps that uh, we are acquiring, or at least that Bluestone is acquiring, are iOS apps. But we do acquire also Google Play apps because usually some companies might wish to sell both iOS and uh, and Android apps. So because you know they are the same, maybe some some of them are built with Flutter. So they you know they have these uh, cross compatibility apps. So we are buying both. We we don't care much, but we are specialized in iOS apps because as you know, iOS is the one that generates most of the revenue compared to Google Play. So it's more, inter it's more interesting for us to buy iOS applications. All right. So if you're still interested in selling an app on Flippa, here's the type of apps that we think are best for Flippa and then what are best for Blue Throne because there are some key differences between the two. So let's take a look. On Flippa, you want to go mainly small apps. Now, on when I've sold my stuff on Flippa, it's just been for a few thousand dollars. Whereas Blue Throne, they want to see at least and Pietro, you can expand on this, but we've done enough with you guys where it's like $5,000 in monthly revenues and then $5,000 in downloads as well. Yes. So basically, uh, as you said, Flippa is a marketplace for small apps mainly, but there are of course also big apps. Uh, but Bluefront is not really interested in small apps. So we have the 5K rule. So if we are like, if you, if your app is generating 5k of monthly revenue or plus we are interested in like starting a dialogue between us or 5,000 downloads. So basically the 5k rule is the one that allows us to start a dialogue with you. I mean, you as a developer and then probably to find a deal between us and buy your app. 
But if your application is having like less than $5,000 of revenue and less than 5,000 uh, downloads per month, well then better to publish your app on Flip, to promote your app on Flippa and try to sell it over there. The last thing I want to end with too, Pietro, is you've been saying this a little bit, we with Blue Throne, after selling your app, you, you actually joined the company too. So that speaks volume to Blue Throne, in my opinion, because eventually you're like, hey, you bought my app. I'm going to come work. I like you guys so much. I'm going to come work with you guys as well. Because you could have just supported yourself. You made some money. You bought a car. You could have done other things, but you ended up joining the company as well. Yeah. So basically, after that they booked my apps, we were still keeping in touch because they needed some... You know, some just general maintenance in other applications. So I was like, okay, I'm free to help if you need anything. So I was working just as a freelancer for them. And then uh, they saw my potentials and we started collaborating in other ways. So now I'm asset manager in Bluefront. So I'm part of the acquisition process. So all the apps that we are receiving for purchase are coming to me. I'm analyzing them with the other team members of Blue Throne, of course. It's not everything on me. It's not only me that is going to take the decision. I'm, I'm bad with numbers. So I'm just in the technical part of the analysis. And then we, uh, and then we are deciding if the app is good or no and all of those things. So yeah, I'm now the asset manager of Blue Throne. Nice. And the thing I want to talk about lastly is if your app is less than $5,000, go check out Flippa. You know, we were able to sell for just a few thousand dollars on Flip a couple of different, whether it's a website or apps. And then if it's making more than that, go check out Blue Throne. And what I really like about you guys, Blue Throne, is I've worked with different brokers too. And while brokers may help you with bigger deals, you're still dealing with the back and forth of multiple buyers. So not saying you shouldn't go check out a broker if you have if you are looking for that bigger deal, but also check out Blue Throne because it might just be easier to work with one entity. And I've worked with a ton of I work with a couple of different brokers where you're just having to go back and forth with a lot of different buyers. And some buyers are just not serious whatsoever. Blue Throne, this is their business. They're looking to acquire apps, right? That's their business model. Whereas the other guys, man, sometimes they're like, oh, but we need funding first before we can buy a business of your size or any of that stuff. So it's a lot of heartache. I'm not saying don't check them out. Check it out because you want, I want you to have different options. But Blue Throne, that's what they do. So, right, it just might be easier to do with one entity versus multiple. Look, Steve, I want to I, wa I want to add like just one more thing. Yeah. Um, the 5K rule, it doesn't mean that we're going to buy applications that are costing, that are just generating uh, $5,000 per month for something. We are open uh, to buy application even like for 500000 up to $1 million, $1 million $500,000. So just don't be scared if you have a really big app, we are ready for pay to pay for it. So yeah, just contact us and we maybe we will find a deal. Well, check out the live streams and I'll link it into the YouTube description as well that we've done with Alan a couple of different times, how to evaluate your app and then the live autopsy that we did. And Alan really broke down the process of how they really thought through buying multiple apps. And he did eventually buy that $1 million app that he discussed too. So they can do big size deals as well. So if you're interested in learning more about Blue Throne and checking out that app valuation tool, go check out bluethrone.io, bluethrone.io. It is linked up into the show notes. And if you got a small art, just go flip up. You know, they're not going to, don't really waste your time. Go on flip up. But once again, it is bluethrone.io. Pietro, anything else you want to add to this video? I, I think, no, everything is fine. I think we explained it very well, which are the differences, where you should go if your app is generating less than 5K and where you should go if your app is bigger, we are like ready to buy. I love it. Pietro, congratulations, man. Congratulations on the exit. Really Thank great you. story. I love it when people, you know, figure out the next step in their, in their life. Anything that you've learned from selling an app? Did it make a huge difference in your life? Like anything that we can take on your wisdom? Well, actually, I learned that you should put a little bit more trust on these kind of cold emails that you might receive because not all of them are spam and they might change your life for you. That's awesome. Congratulations. Once again, it is bluethrone.io if you are interested in selling your app. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you on the next video.